Hello friends and welcome back. I hope you all are doing well. Today I'm going to show you how to use the taper modifier in 3D Studio Max. So without wasting your time, let's get started. Uh, so here we are in 3D Studio Max. The first thing we have to do is create an object. So for the taper, I'm creating a box. And before we apply the modifier, we have to ensure that the object is having good number of segments. So let's increase the segment. Once you have added the segments, then we can apply the taper modifier, but here I'm creating a copy of this object first. And then I'll convert this object into a editable poly. Because I don't want to apply the taper to the entire object, so I have converted the object into a editable poly. So in the polygon mode, I'm going to select some polygons. Now to apply the taper modifier, click on modifiers, go to parametric deformers and apply taper. So the taper modifier has been applied. So now let us see what parameters we are getting with the taper modifier. So in the taper modifier, we have uh, three groups of uh, parameters. The first one is the taper group. Then we have the taper axis group and we have the limits group. So in the taper group, we have uh, two options. One is the amount and the curve. So the amount basically uh, determines the amount of taper. Then we have the curve. The curve value is used to add a inward or a outward curve to the taper. So if you specify a negative value, it is going to be an inward curve. And if you specify a positive value, the curve is going to be outward. So time being, I'm adding a negative value. So we get an inward curve. Now, to understand the other parameters, I'm going to create copies of the editable poly object. Like this. I have selected the first one. So in the parameters under the taper axis, we are having primary axis. So let's select the x-axis. When you select the x-axis, the taper is going to affect the object in the x-axis. And when I select the y-axis, the taper is going to affect in the y-axis. And if I select the z-axis, so this is what I get. So the taper is affecting the z-axis. Now, beside that, we have something called effect. So currently you can see the x, y axis is selected. So in that case, both the x and y axis are getting affected with this taper modifier. Now in the second one, let's select the y axis. So when I select the y axis, the taper is going to affect only the y axis. And let's select the third one. And in this, I'm going to select the x axis. So when I select the x axis, you will find that only the x axis is getting affected. So we have these uh, three variants here. In this one, only the x axis is affected by the taper modifier. Whereas in the second one, we have uh, the taper effect in the y axis. And in the third one, we have uh, both the axis affected by the taper. Now let's create one copy of this uh, editable poly. And in the parameters, we have one option that is called symmetry. To understand the symmetry, uh, let's reduce the curve amount. So this is a normal taper. So when I put on the symmetry, it creates a symmetry. Now to understand the limit effect, I'm going to apply the taper modifier to this box. So we'll go to modifiers, parametric deformers and apply taper. Now, as you can see, the entire object is under the influence of the taper modifier. Now, suppose we want to uh, add some kind of restriction or constraint to the object so that a particular section of this object is affected by the taper. For that, we have to put on the limits, the limit effects. Then we have to set the upper limit and the lower limit. So here I'm going to set the upper limit first and then I'm going to 
set the lower limit as well. Now as you can see in the example only a certain portion of this object or a certain section of this object is getting affected by the taper modifier. So beside this in the taper we have the gizmo and the center. So we can select the center and we can move the center to affect that taper like this. We can move the center up and down, left, right and accordingly the object is affected. So that is how we can use the taper modifier in 3 Studio Max. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching.